Maxwell Sparks was in the first wave of New Zealanders due to attack the prison's outer wall from the east. At 12.02, he was hurtling down the straight road leading toward Amiens prison. Seconds before reaching the prison, they dropped even lower. A minute later, the other New Zealand mosquitoes swung in to attack the northern wall. But the operation was still running a crucial two minutes late. To avoid the New Zealanders exploding bombs, the Australian mosquitoes had to turn in a wide circle, delaying their attack on the guardhouses. But as the Australians left for home, there was a plane missing. There was no sign of Charles Picard, and the reserve mosquitoes were now just minutes away expecting his orders to attack or head for home. The camera plane now flew in, beginning a series of runs over the prison. Its pilot, Flight Lieutenant Wickham, would later describe the scene. The ends were blown off the building, the outer walls were breached. In the yard was a large group of prisoners making good their escape. Three of them already got through the outer walls and were heading for the fields. Picard's absence, Wickham gave the okay to call off the reserve. I gave them a pre-arranged signal to take their bombs home. Hello, Daddy. Red, red, red. The rest of the mosquitoes were already on their way home, dodging enemy fighters and flak. Maxwell Sparks' plane was hit. Sparks finally made it back across the channel, landing at an emergency airfield. As each mosquito returned, concern grew for their missing leader. As night fell, there were still two planes unaccounted for. One from the New Zealand squadron and one flown by Charles Picard and his navigator, Alan Broadley. <laughs> 